it is the fifth week in Easter, so let's talk about James. He gets a bad rap because Luther trash talked him, but here's the thing. He actually offers something wonderfully not of straw, uh, not of law, but holy and completely of the gospel. Every good and perfect gift is from above. Not from within, not from doing your best, but from on high, from, from God. It actually speaks against that whole follow your heart notion, which has never really been great, even when Christians grab hold of it and say, this is where God is speaking to you from your heart. Follow your heart. Follow your dreams. Just do what makes you happy. The problem is my heart is selfish. Do not be deceived. Every good and gift, perfect gift is not from within, but from above. Good gifts don't start in the heart. No good gift starts with our hands. Good words don't start from our mouths that are sinful. They have to come from something purer, something more solid, something good and perfect, namely Christ. So set aside self-taught fantasies that you can do this by yourself by following your heart. God who does not change like we do is not of darkness, but does speak to you. And well, here you get to hear something good and perfect. God made us blessed. He called us very good. And his will is unchanged. Even though we changed, fell into sin, broke, God speaks all the more. He speaks forgiveness. He speaks peace. He speaks salvation. He speaks with his word. And his word does what it is. It is love. And that love takes flesh. That love dies upon the cross for you. And that love is risen from the dead. Because that word takes action to save the good and perfect gift from above is Jesus. And this word of God, Jesus, carves filthiness from our mouths, washes away wickedness from our souls, places all of those things upon the cross, rises free from them in holiness. Jesus, the word of God made flesh, the good and perfect gift from on high, gives you the very measure of the same the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. He sends forth his Holy Spirit, giving his saving word to you and binds it to the sacraments that it would be for you, that it would sustain you. The church of, of Christ is uh, God's mark upon this creation where he would proclaim his will, that he would enact his will by forgiving sinners, by uniting the dying to life itself. And here we actually get to receive something that saves. He speaks not to our hearts, but to our ears. We, we hear the gospel. We, we don't just sort of feel our way along towards it. He speaks that your sins would be forgiven, that you can actually hear your, your, your well, sins called out for what they are in his law, and you would receive them forgiven, proclaimed in the gospel, that you might know the measure of your life. The peace that is given to broken hearts is that God still speaks to you from on high, a good and perfect word made flesh for you to forgive you all your sins and tie you to life itself. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.